What's up, Fango fans? My name is Countess Alex. Thank you for joining me on our first ever segment of Cosplay Tea. Where we interview cosplayers and find out what tea boils their jimmies. That's definitely not <laughs> going to be. No, it needs to be. <laughs> Today we have the lovely Miss Jessica Saracino. Tell us uh, what tea is boiling your jimmies today, apparently. <laughs> well, my jimmies are being boiled by hot chocolate. Yes. Yes. I actually don't drink coffee, and I think I'm one of the only teachers in existence to not drink coffee. Yeah. I feel that. Mm -hmm. It makes you special, though. You're the unicorn of teachers. I'll take it. <laughs> <laughs> so, tell us a little bit about yourself, who you are, what you want to tell the world. Um, my name is Jessica. Um, I've been cosplaying since about 2013. My first convention, which was Megacon. Uh, I am a teacher by day and a princess by night, so I do run my own company called Girly Girl Parties and we provide princesses to kids' birthday parties and events. We also do like charity events like going to hospitals and raising money, that kind of thing. Oh, I love that. Yeah, it's really fun and the kids, it's fun to bring magic to kids. Absolutely, absolutely. Seeing those smiles probably means a lot to you. It does. <laughs> um, so I also help run uh, a cosplay group, a local cosplay group here in Jacksonville called the Sailor Scouts of Jacksonville, which we had the honor of having you for <laughs> a year before you had to go do all your wedding planning. That's and we true. miss you terribly. But I miss, miss all you. of you girls. Oh. But, you know, maybe at some point I'll be able to like, Hang out one more time and be Venus. Definitely. Venus. You can always hang out with us, and I'm glad you still carry on the uh, lovely Venus. I adore her. <laughs> I always wanted to be beautiful and popular when I was younger, because that was never me. But <laughs> you're so sweet. <laughs> but I think that she's awesome, and I love Sailor Moon. I think you carry the spirit of her, like, almost every event you're at. You're just so energetic and fun, and I adore that. Um, so it's really funny because when I was little, I was not allowed to watch Sailor Moon. Really? Yeah, so my mom thought it was too violent and um, mostly because my cousin Jimmy knocked over a lamp doing a Power Rangers move and broke it. So I was not allowed <laughs> to watch any of those shows. Um, but I went to my cousin's house to watch Sailor Moon and she had the June Tree like box set, like the four VHS yeah. tapes. And we just watched it every time I went over to the Aww. point she would hide them when I came over because she was so sick of watching them <laughs> that she would be like, oh no, I got rid of them. <laughs> and she told me like forever <coughs> later when we were older, like, yeah, I used to hide those because I was tired of watching them. Sailor Moon was such a big thing that opened so many doors culturally for so many ideas. Like one of my favorite things, which is Star vs. the Force of Evil, that door opened for Disney because Sailor Moon existed. Everyone loves a magical girl. Right? Exactly. <laughs> I think everyone wants to have magical powers and save the world. And I think that Sailor Scouts of Jacksonville embody that magical essence every time you guys come to a con. Everyone asks about you. There's even like little tiny kids who know who Sailor Moon is. It's really a fantastic legacy character to have. So tell us a bit about the portions of cosplay that you love. Like what keeps you coming back to this hobby? Well, I kind of like that it brings like-minded people together. Um, things that, you know, you're kind of outcasted for in society for liking and for enjoying and having a passion in. And you're part of a community of people who love that thing as well. And that's really kind of magical in itself. Um, also, the fact that you can be whoever you want. Halloween was always my favorite holiday. So you could be anybody. And with cosplay, I always explain when my parents are like, what is that? It's Halloween anytime and every time and it's like the most amazing thing you can just be whoever you want and you are that person when you go to a con people are like you are them and you can talk about it and you find people who love it as much as you do um, so that's really neat is the community um, I also love the magic you can bring to others through volunteering just bringing magic to kids and people who need it most it just makes me happy I love that too I love doing that in cosplay Tell us about the things that you make. I know that you're, you you and the Scouts are very good with wigs. You even helped me make my Rapunzel wig at one point and gave me some tips on that. Tell me a bit about what you create as an artist. So I cannot sew 
And as a cosplayer, it's very difficult. Um, I was actually a theater major in college and I took a costuming class with someone who's now done costumes on Broadway for Aladdin and they're now working on Beetlejuice. <laughs> and bless his soul, he could not teach me how to sew. I get major anxiety with the sewing machine, like mm -hmm. freak out, like, oh God, and like, oh, <laughs> oh my gosh, it's, it's awful. So unfortunately the sewing leaves a lot out for me, but I have adapted to the hot glue gun. I am a wizard with a hot glue gun and I have actually made full costumes via hot glue gun. My Alexa Bliss costume is all hot glue gun. Wait, <laughs> really? Yeah, all, everything is put on by hot glue. On that thing is amazing. Like, as someone who does sewing, there, it's like seamless. You, you would not be able to tell, so that's fantastic work. If you looked up itself. close, you could tell. Fair. I haven't seen it in person yet, so I'll give you that one for sure. But it looks good in pictures, so um, definitely a wizard with a hot glue gun and kind of can craft things with that. And then, like you said, the wigs, like um, with the help of some other people, I made this wig. We took a lot of people holding it and sewing it, um, but it's, these are e each a different piece. Art away. So you, do you have four pieces total? Yeah, so the or five I pigtails guess, the were split in half. Okay. And I sewed them to snaps. And they actually snap on to the base wig underneath so I can brush really? them. I haven't brushed them a little bit. They're kind of dreading right now, which is kind of nice. <laughs> it they don't, they don't catch on stuff. <laughs> so it kind of keeps them together. Um, and then I sewed on, I stuffed and sewed on the bun pieces as well on top of the awesome. snaps. Now we're going to go ahead and move on to our next part of our talk show segment here called The Teapot. Our teapot includes questions that are simmering, spicy, and interesting to get our guests talking about things that are both fun and a little bit uncomfortable. I hate gloves, okay. Um, is there a signature cosplay of yours? Something that you think people will just know you for? I mean, probably Sailor Moon. <laughs> oh, I don't know, maybe. <laughs> just from the Sailor Scouts of Jacksonville, and then yeah. of course um, we worked with uh, Gam for their anime show. Mm -hmm. So now Gam people know me as Sailor Moon as well. I love she that. is one of my favorites. She is the best girl. And I definitely identify with be eating and sleeping all the time and being clumsy. So definitely. I love her. <laughs> I love that. She is a flawed character, but a wonderful character. Yes. Maybe because she's flawed. Absolutely. Relatable. Mm. Okay, this is a fun one. Um, was there ever a big mistake you made while cosplaying? Something that definitely changed the way you felt about something. Um, so when was it? Last year I did Sailor Moon Warrior Sailor Moon, so Sailor Moon armor, yes. which um, Alex AWS Craft definitely helped me a lot with. Um, I did most of the detail work and big pieces, but he helped with um, more so like the technical aspects of it because I had never worked with foam in my life. So we worked for weeks and weeks on this uh, costume together and it was finally all done and we had I had hand painted each little piece and it took forever and it was so perfect and beautiful and like an hour before we left for the con I was like okay he's like it's time to seal it I'm like okay I'm ready he's like just a light spray I'm like I got this so I sealed it and we put it in the car and we went out to dinner because it was our month anniversary we go to Domu every month anniversary so we get to Domu and I'm like, okay, let me grab something out of the trunk. And I open the van and the armor, all of the marker lines had bled through the paint because I put too much sealant on it. So it broke down the paint and let all the red marks show through this armor that was done. So I immediately start crying because I felt so stupid that weeks of work were ruined in like 30 seconds of spraying. And he's like, yeah, you put too much on it. I'm like, oh my gosh. So this wonderful man, we went to Domu and put our name in. And they're like, yeah, it's like a 40 minute wait. So for 40 minutes, we sat in the back of his van and took out the paint and repainted the entire thing by oh my hand. Gosh. It was not fun, but he was a trooper and it made me feel better. And then we got Domu afterwards. Right? So, <laughs> yeah, and it was still drying the whole way to Orlando. <laughs> Oh wow. Oh my yeah, gosh. Yeah, I felt pretty dumb, but I learned a valuable lesson that day. <laughs> it's great to have cosplay friends and family to help you out, right? Absolutely. 
This is gonna be our last question. I'm gonna have you pull this one, Jessica. Okie dokie, oh god, gloves. Oh yeah. I'm gonna go for this mm. one. Cosplay gloves. This one. Okay. Um. <laughs> oh no. Favorite cosplay buddy. Oh my gosh, this is like really hard. Mm -hmm. Because- You have so many! <laughs> I have too many, but in the best way possible. Um, I literally can't pick one, so I'm just gonna shout out all my Sailor Scout girls because they make con so much fun for me and just um, just being introduced to the con lifestyle and having like a group to enjoy it with um, is really great. Uh, I need to be part of that world. Yes. And I am. <laughs> <laughs> Jessica, thank you so very much for joining us today. Thank you for being a part of this and thank you for helping me to kick off this series. You've been a fantastic guest and I look forward to seeing you more at events along with all of your beautiful ladies. Oh, thank you. And I love hanging out with you as always, including the amazing Fango team as well. Yes. Wonderful as always. Um, you can follow me on Instagram at tshrimp123. Uh, or Sailor Scouts of Jacksonville on Facebook and Instagram as well, Sailor Scouts Jax, J-A-X. And also Girly Girl Parties on both Facebook and Instagram, Girly Girls North FL. Thank you, Jessica. Thanks for watching. And don't forget to join us next time for a drink. Bye! What's up, Fango fans? Bigger. What? Bigger. What's up, Fango fans? Yeah! <laughs> that was great. I don't want to be that guy. All right, let's take it one more time. In the Lord, middle. In the okay. middle. <laughs> yeah, somewhere sliding scale of crazy. Okay. What's up, Fango